the next reaction we look at the synthesis re uh, single re replacement and single replacement simply changes one element into to another let's go over this let's call this iron 2 plus copper 2 sulfate so your job is to finish the reaction and balance it let's go iron itself plus copper sulfate if i think correctly copper is two it's given to me sulfate is two it's given to me that cancels out so i end up with this metal recombining with the opposite non-metal fe so four both charges of two plus what's left over copper just see this is called single displacement one thing changes the other if i look correctly i have f is one copper is one so four is one as one unit f is one so four is one Copper is one, everything is balanced out. Nothing else to do on this equation. Okay, I could also replace a non metal. Okay, so I could have Cu SO4 again plus, let's call this plus um, phosphate. Okay, finish the reaction. The reaction will be the copper with the PO3, PO3, PO3 as phosphites are. Copper, PO3, because copper was two, sulfate so was two. How do I know that? Because the two cancel this two out. Okay, so copper is two. Therefore, I would have to do this, that, and this because phosphide is three. What's left over? SO4. Make sure everything is balanced. Copper is one here. Copper is three here. So I begin with a three. Now I have three coppers. I have three coppers, phosphate, I have phosphite, sorry, I have two over here, now it's two, both sides, and sulfate is one so far, but it is three here, so I go with three, therefore sulfate is three, and there is single displacement of both a metal and a non-metal.